Hey guys, welcome to Pinpoint Podiatry. My name's Michael, and if you guys are looking for more in-depth information and knowledge on basketball shoes, and what shoe is gonna be right for you, you've come to the right place. So I'm very excited. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a deconstructed shoe, the Adidas Crazy Explosive 2017. So without further ado, let's take a look at the shoe. So taking a look at the cross section of the shoe, the upper is comprised of a double layer of prime knit, which if you've ever worn an Ultra Boost or a Pure Boost, that only has one layer. So I've never tried to play in an Ultra Boost and I don't plan on doing so. So basically the double layer upper means that the shoe is designed to be more durable and contain your foot better than the single layer. How durable will it be? Hard to say, it is still quite a soft material. The second layer is a mesh material as you can see here. In terms of how it's going to play, it's hard to say. Prime knit is comfortable, but I'm not sure how locked in you'll be in this shoe. You can see these straps here, kind of like Nike's Flywire, for some extra fixation. Each cable you see here runs into four attachments and looks like it's stitched to the shoe, which is probably more durable than glue, so hopefully you don't blow out the sides of the shoe. The second layer of mesh is stitched around the tongue, so that means where the tongue is, only one layer of prime knit is there. So I guess it should be pretty comfortable, but may feel weird or like there's too much movement in the shoe perhaps. There is an Achilles pad in the back to reduce irritation on your Achilles, which is a good idea, but I guess it may interfere with the lockdown of the shoe or it even takes up a little bit more room up the back. So let's take a look at the meat of the shoe, which is in the midsole. Removable sock liner, so you might be able to throw some orthotics or inserts into the shoe. And with the upper being prime knit, and depending on the shape of your foot, it could work quite well. Here's the strobel board. This is a firm piece of plastic that would help reinforce the shoe in the midfoot. So essentially adding some extra support to the shoe. Because if you think about boost, it is very soft and easy to bend. So it makes the shoe more responsive rather than sinking into the boost with the strobel board. This is the stable frame and it looks like a TPU material. Stable frame essentially guides the foot whilst you're walking, running or through gait, allowing it to sit within rather on top of the frame for support. Which is good to see that Adidas isn't just marketing boost as the be all and end all. And they do realize that boost isn't exactly the best material for basketball movements. So they reinforce the shoe. And so for you guys that have problems with your feet, seeing how the shoe is constructed gives me more confidence that this may actually be a decent shoe, but until I actually put it on my foot, I can't be too sure. They then cage the boost laterally, which I like. Seeing how boost actually works in a day-to-day -day setting, it's not the most laterally stable material. So by adding this to the forefoot, hopefully it will add some stability while making cuts or moving with the ball. If you've ever seen someone sprain their ankle in slow motion, their foot will most likely be in contact with the ground where this TPU is placed on the boost. So here's the cage, it looks quite comprehensive. Again, probably trying to add some stability to the boost. Then we look at the thickness of the boost. It is quite thin in the forefoot at 14.36 millimeters and 25.21 millimeters in the heel. So that's almost an 11 millimeter offset, which is quite high for a basketball shoe. So basically with an offset this high, you'll probably lose some court feel or proprioception, but you will slightly offload your Achilles or calves for you guys who are having issues on that side of things. And then if we compare it to last year's shoe, it's hard to say which would be better, but just by looking at the shoe, I think last year's shoe may be a little bit more supportive in terms of its lockdown. If we look at the densities of the boost in each of the shoe, it's pretty much the same. So in terms of the amount of material in the midsole, the shoe is almost identical. Just by looking at the stable frame and strobe board of last year's model, it's very much identical. So I'm actually quite excited for the Adidas Crazy Explosive 2017 to see how it'll perform on the court. And looking at how similar it is to last year's shoe, it'll be interesting to see how similar it'll be or if there are actually a lot of differences when you put the shoe on. Guys, let me know if you guys are excited for the Adidas Crazy Explosive 2017 as well, or if you've managed to get your hands on it, please let me know down in the comments below what you think of the shoe. If you guys like videos like these, be sure to let me know down in the comments below, or even what you'd like to see next. You can even follow me on social media at Pinpoint Podiatry and let me know what you wanna see next. So thanks for watching the video guys, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video.